All right, everybody. We're here at Pinchel's Garage today, and... What's up, y'all? Yeah, this guy right here. We're back. We're back with his Mark IV back. Um, so last time you guys saw this here, we did pretty much bring this car back to stock uh, to pass smog. It passed smog with flying colors. Now we got two years to play with it before to take it back. So he brought me over a forged turbo inlet pipe right there. And we're going to show you guys how to install this. So let's get to work. This is PTL's Garage. So the first things first here on this uh, part of the project is remove your factory intake, aka the C this is not a CTS turbo kit, is it? Yeah. It is. Okay. They know they made Mark IV stuff. Yeah, CTS. Yeah. Okay. So for him, he's got a pretty much a ram air. So we're gonna be popping this out. Then we're gonna disconnect the MAF sensor, and then we're gonna work our way over down to the uh, actual factory turbo inlet pipe, which is here. Uh, and you're gonna take out the diverter valve, the N75 sensor. Uh, the hockey puck all have to come out and out of the way Once you do that, there's a five millimeter allen head on the side of the turbo on the turbo that comes in Because you'll see like the turbo inlet and it's like a 90 degree that goes up There's a little five millimeter allen bolt right there. You got to get it's a really tight spot But we'll show you guys once he pulls out the uh, the intake so as he is working on Taking apart this stuff, I forgot to mention one more thing. There's an, actually a clip for half of the turbo inlet pipe to come out. <laughs> yes, it's hot. You just drove here for two hours. <laughs> Caliente. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, so as he's working on this, uh, I'll show you guys once he's done what we're talking about. But there's a clip halfway through that you have to pull out so the turbo inlet pipe comes out. Um, pretty much it's a retaining clip. Uh, kind of like on your... Um, your intercooler and your like uh, turbo and lip um, your charge pipe that's right here that clip that holds the rubber portion on the lower which is like a little pull clip and you just wiggle it out same thing it's just in a much uh, crappier location and the engine's really hot so it makes things a lot more fun to do <laughs> <laughs> uh, you need some pliers for that guy, or just yank it out, maybe. <laughs> smart man, smart man. Okay, we're back. Um, you'll see down here. Oh, not the, not the microphone, but down here. Hold that back like that. Gotcha. Can you borrow this? Mm -hmm. And you'll see here, there's a metal clip right here. That's a retaining clip. Um, this is what's holding the turbo in place. I mean, the turbo inlet pipe in place. And sometimes they like to come out easily. Uh, start pulling the, tur uh, the, the pipe up. Okay. You gotta like pull up, not sideways. There you go. Come on, buddy. Right, hold on. Why are you giving us such a headache? So pretty much what I ended up doing is I went over to the left of it, over here. Sorry guys, it's hard to see, but it's this metal pipe. There's a clip right here. I went over and, s and scraped to the left and pulled out and the clip finally came out so uh, he just has to wiggle it up until it pops right out it's in there for a minute so it's gonna oh, yep come on man Whew. yep over a hot engine it makes it easier doesn't it there you go. Ah. Ah, you good? <laughs> I got sploosh all over me <laughs> so there you go that's how that comes out <laughs> Put it in your box of stuff, so that way you don't lose it. But yeah, the retaining clip is right here. I'll take it out with the with the pipe, so that way we can have a better visual, so you guys can see it when we take it out. But yeah, and this is pretty much what's holding it, and then there's a clip that sits right here. 
That's what's holding it, keeping it from coming out. It was in. Hot, 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 hot. So, right now, there's a five millimeter bolt right here. I know it's hard to see, guys, but it's right here. Um, we pretty much use the flathead screwdriver to pry it open while he wiggles it. And as he's wiggling, he's trying to yank it out now. And hopefully, you guys can see that how the movement is there. It's hard to, I know it's hard to see, but please bear with me, guys. <laughs> it's such a hard spot. It's dumb, but that's what has to get done. No, I didn't go back in. No, I had it, to use, I'm just short. I need to on something. <laughs> yeah. Let's see if I get to get it a lot closer to the action here. Hopefully you guys can see that because I can't see anything, but you'll see that turbo element pipe wiggling right there. So it literally just clips onto the turbo with an O-ring, and that's it. Is it in? What is it? No, it's, what just, is it it's stuck on? It's stuck, it's stuck on the turbo. It's actually on the turbo, but you got to, like, curve it out. So you got to, like, move it towards the block and pull it all at the same time. I'll see if I can pry it out for you. Again. No problem. So this is the hardest. This is not the hardest part. But with the, oh, we got to show them what we did. This is the hole with the five millimeter Allen head that we had to take out. So this goes into the turbo like this. We had to raise the car and do it underneath the car. It's a lot easier. Uh, with the flathead screwdriver right here. Don't move it. You don't have to move it. Just hold it still. You pry in between here until this pops out. And then when you're over here, you're going to need two hands on top. Hold this while you're wiggling. And on the bottom, you're going to put your fingers down here and like pry away from the block and then push it up until it pops out and that's it. You need to take off the hose that's on here or rip it off, whatever comes first. And you're gonna need that to redo it, to use it for the next one. So on your turbo inlet pipe, right here, whew, apply a little bit of grease on the outside, some uh, wheel bearing grease, and then a little bit on the inside. Because what we have to do is we have to literally fold this and cram it into place where it has to go. And then hit, all right. So what we have to do, same way that the metal one came out in the same area, you're going to fold this guy kind of like this, not ahead of time, but this is what's going to happen. It's going to fold and you're going to cram it in. And then once you have it down, you're going to go underneath the car and grab the lip from underneath and pull it into the turbo. So you're kind of going to look like this. It's going to go down and in and you're going to grab this lip and kind of like pull it and then wiggle it into place. Once that's the case, then slide your clamp down into place and then tighten it down. The grease that's on here and inside here, do your best to clean it off as much as you can. If you can't, it's not a big deal. It'll burn off with the heat, but it's better ahead of time. That way it doesn't pop out on its own, but it shouldn't once you clamp it down correctly. All right, people. So as I explained earlier, we had to fold it, slide it in, and then while he's pushing down, you're wiggling it in and trying to pretty much with your finger slide the inlet pipe into the turbo from down below. And then that's it. Um, open up your clamp all the way. Slide it around. Don't try to slide it on. Uh, wrap it around and then tighten it by hand and you should be done. Use a really long flathead screwdriver for your clamp. Uh, if you have that style of clamp, uh, you'll see the hedge right here. Again, I'm sorry for the lighting. It's, it's underneath the car, so... Hopefully you guys could see this um, right there and then clamp. And then all he has to do is run the last uh, uh, vacuum line that's on the turbo in the pipe and we're done. Ay, 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 ay. That's it. Ay, ay, ay. You guys can see that's the five millimeter bolt right here that holds the turbo inlet pipe in place. The factory one. <sighs> and as he is putting the old stuff back on, that's it. We're done. We're done with the turbo inlet pipe install. 
reverse install everything else. Everything else on the inlet pipe is pretty much factory. Nothing special about it. And that's it. Um, now, thank you for watching <laughs> this episode of Pitchell's Garage. Um, dude, I forgot your name. I'm so bad. Oh, Eric. Eric. I was going to call you Andres for some reason. I don't remember why. You call me Eric or Grubbin? Grubbin. Ah, yes. Grub, because the food. The food, <laughs> yep. And so I'm here with Eric. My bad. <laughs> um, and then um, he's just, again, reverse installing everything. He's sweating. He's sweating. Now he understands how I feel. Yes. It's a lot of work, but in the long run, it's going to last a while. Mm-hmm. And then again, he's just reverse installing all this stuff and he put it all back in and turned it on. Thanks again for tuning in this episode of Peachy House Garage and showing you guys how to install a forged turbo inlet pipe on a 1.8T Mark IV GTI. Peace out, everybody, and have a wonderful day.